So one of the benefits of having a long bed is being able to put full size sheet goods and a lot of cargo back here. Especially with the soft topper I have on here, it gives me a lot of coverage and keeps out of the elements. Uh, the only problem is when I then go to Walmart and get some groceries, other things that need to stay back here, they slide all over the place. So uh, I've actually left this broom in here uh, from uh, one of the last times I went to the dump and it makes it easy for me to pull things out that slide, but that's less than ideal. So I bought the ubiquitous Amazon cargo net uh, to go here across the bed to give me a little bit of cargo space back here. Uh, the problem is there are not uh, upper hooks here. You can see it's just a punch out for it. And some of these actually are filled in. I think the middle one here, if you can see it is filled in and the far one and then the far one over there. And then it's missing the two over here. And then there's actually uh, tie down spots on the back of the bed too. It'd be nice to be able to, to have some tie down points in here for moving large items, especially when we move. Uh, you know, it's it's always good to kind of have those parts available. So I went online and found these little brackets. They say they take up to 250 pounds. They feel like, you know, cheap uh, pot metal, but I'm not looking to hold a heavy load with them. I just want to be able to have a tie down point for a cargo net or, uh, you know, for a light uh, tie down. I'm not looking to hold heavy weight with that. I've got uh, the points on the bed for that if I need to do that. Um, and if I need to really do something heavy and big, it's going in the trailer anyway. I will put a link below to these. Um, there's nine tie down points in my uh, long bed. And uh, I only got six because I didn't want to run them across the back. And then these, I think, were 20 bucks for not 20 bucks for six and like $32 for nine. So it just didn't seem worth it to me. And then what I'd like to do is when I pull the caps out of here is to plug those holes back there. I had actually looked for the plastic plugs for these. And uh, anywhere I look, they're like 10, eight to 10 bucks a piece. And that's just too much for something that's cosmetic. That being said, I'm gonna get in there and do that. I just have a, a pick to pick out the old ones. And then I believe this 13 millimeter should do it. Yep, can't tell the way these work. These fit into the, the spot in the bed. And this goes in as well. And then it'll sandwich between the bed at some point and the back, hopefully. They also provide these little rubber pieces here, uh, which I guess you can stick on the back. But let's see how that works. I'm gonna start here on the back left of the bed. And you see this should just fit in here. Get it kind of finger tight first. And put them in. Then you turn it a little bit and then give it a little bit of pull and see if that'll tighten it up. There we go. And it's just rotating in the back. All right. That would be a real pain with the without a ratcheting wrench if you don't have a ratcheting you want to get one basically i hand tightened it pretty good and then i rotated this in here so it grab on the back i put some tension on it so that when i uh tighten the bolt it wouldn't just spin the back it would actually tighten the bolt so i'm gonna go around and do the rest of these and this one i've actually got to pop this plug out and that was easy enough All right, got all six in. I'd like to tell you that it was easier than it was, uh, but you just have to put a little bit of tension on them to get them in there. I think these seals, you know, as nice as it is to have on there, uh, you know, it's kind of foam. I think water eventually will get through there. Not that it really matters because the other side of the bed, I think these are probably, if you have a painted bed, you definitely want to run these just to keep it from scratching your paint or at least a little bit, maybe, I don't know. I guess it's better than nothing, but they're in there. Again, I don't know that I'd put anything super heavy on here. They are rated 250 pounds, but a piece of metal on the back, you don't know if it's like this or like this or perfect up and down. And it's definitely cheap metal. So, you know, most things are going to strap down anyway. You don't need that heavy of a load weight. You're not hanging off it, right? It's just holding it down from moving back and forth. So you'd probably be okay. And in true hoarder fashion, I'm going to save these little foam inserts. I have a feeling they're going to come in handy one day for something. Okay, well that makes me happy knowing that it looks clean back there and I've got these nice uh, hooks in here for tie downs. It just feels a little bit more useful back here. So then that just came and now I'm gonna get it out of this fancy packaging. 
So here it is all laid out. I mean, it's pretty simple. Nothing fancy here. Uh, the only thing I don't like so far about it is the cheapness of these hooks. If I knew that going into it, I figured if they did break, just take them off and put a carabiner through here. So that guy fit on fine, but this guy doesn't fit so much. So that might end up needing a carabiner on it. There we go. So that fits. Um, it's a little more stretched looking than I expected. Uh, but maybe that'll help keeping cargo back. I don't know. Like this heavy battery thing. That'll probably go right through with enough deceleration. But I think as far as like groceries and things. I looked for some metal carabiners. But they were all a little pricey. And I just figured it wasn't worth it. Um, but I found these plastic ones. That uh, you know the construction. Uh, I wouldn't put a lot of weight on it. But I think it might be handy to have some D-rings back here instead of the stock clips. So I don't have to cut these off um, without obviously cutting the cord here. Uh, but the idea is I would just put it through the D-ring and then get a little bit better of a, a grasp in there than this guy was doing. I think the D-rings give a little bit better of a purchase on there. I think what I'll do is keep a couple extra. Just kind of hanging loose up here. You never know. Might never need it. Might need to secure something down. Who knows? These top ones come apart and I just pried them with the pick. I really want to cut the bottom ones right now. It's more effort than it's worth today, but I've got the extra ones hanging up there. Just did the first run of a couple of groceries and it worked fine. And the battery pack stayed back here too. Those other clips turned out to be complete junk. So I went and got some really cheap metal ones and uh, you know, definitely not, not for climbing like they say, but they, hopefully these will stand up uh, for use. And then they have a lock on it here. So if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Uh, comment below too. I try and get back to most of you guys who comment. I really appreciate uh, a lot of it. And I hope that some of it helps on some of these other videos. Um, but you know what? It's nice out and I'm done making a video. So until next time, may God bless you and keep standing up for what's right.